Hi everyone, welcome back to fourth video of antiviral agents lecture. In this video, we're gonna discuss on anti-hepatitis agents to treat the HCV infections. As mentioned before, hepatitis C virus contain a positive sense single-stranded RNA. So this hepatitis C virus enter the hepatocytes via receptors mediated endocytosis. After membrane fusion and coating, the positive single-stranded viral RNA is released into the cytosols and then transported to the rough endoplasmic reticulum where it serves as a template for the viral polyprotein synthesis. Once synthesis, this viral polyprotein is cleaved and processed by viral proteases such as NS34A serine protease which cleave the four non-structural sites. So, as I mentioned earlier, this NS34A serine protease will cleave all the four non-structural sites as shown in this diagram and these non-structural proteins then will generate the mature protein form a complex and initiate the replication with these lipid droplets as a symbol LD in this diagram. Two of these proteins are important target of anti-hepatitis C drug which is the non-structural protein 5A and S5A is regulate the replications of hepatitis C viral RNA and another one is non-structural 5B or NS5B as shown in this diagram serve as the RNA dependent RNA polymerase that produce negative sense RNA. So these negative sense RNA intermediates are then used to create numerous copies of the positive sense viral RNA. Finally, new replicated viral RNA is encased between members derived from this lipid droplet and endoplasmic reticulum and then released from the infected cell by azocytosis. Now, current hepatitis C treatments are made up of combination of drugs called direct acting antivirals. They are classified into three groups, which is the NS5A inhibitors, uh, NS5B RNA polymerase inhibitors, as well as NS34A protease inhibitors. In contrast to the treatment of patients with chronic HBV infections, the primary goal of treatment in patients with HCV infection is viral eradication, which can be seen by absence of detectable variable 24 weeks after completion of therapy, and which is known as SVR, which is the sustained viral response. This sustained viral response is associated with improvement in liver histology and reduction in risk of end-stage liver disease and hepatocellular carcinoma as well as cirrhosis. Previously, chronic HCV patients treated with the combination of pegylated interferons alpha with rivavirins. As I mentioned earlier, interferons tends to be associated with higher rate of serious adverse effects including anemia and rash. So longer treatment duration can cause clinically significant drug drug interactions. Nowadays, the use of interferons as well as rivavirin are being replaced by this combination regimen of direct acting antiviral agents or known as DAA. So the advantage of combination of DNA regimens are can be administered in all oral compared to paginated interferons that require injection as a subcutaneous. They can improve the efficacy as well as the tolerability and improve the dosage schedule and has fewer potential, fewer potential drug drug interactions. However, this combination of DEA regimens are expensive. NS5B is an RNA-dependent RNA polymerase involved in 
post translational processing that is necessary for create numerous copies of positive sense viral RNA replications. So there are two classes of polymerase inhibitors, uh, such as nucleosides, uh, nucleotide analog, which is sulfamazepine, that target catalytic site of NS5B and competes with nucleotides, resulting in these chain terminations. Another group, which is the non-nucleoside analog, such as desabufil, act as allosteric inhibitors of NS5B. So, sulfosbuvir is a prodrug which is efficiently taken up by hepatocyte and converted by cellular kinase to its pharmacologically active metabolites, which then incorporated by the HCV RNA polymerase, resulting in the chain terminations. This drug achieved fit plasma in one hour post dose without the meal. This drug is about 65% bound to plasma protein. However, this drug is a substrate of drug transporter P glycoproteins. Therefore, potent PGP inducers, especially in the intestine, may decrease the sulfosomovir bioavailability and should not be co administered together. This drug is administered in combination with several other anti HCV medications, including Dacratazve, Simopravir, Ubavirin, and others. Meanwhile, Dasabuvir is a non nucleoside NS5B polymerase inhibitor. This drug has high oral bioavailability, about 70%, and the peak plasma concentration can be reached 4 hours after ingestion and is highly protein bound, which involves 99.5% and metabolized via cytochrome 2CA as well as cytochrome 3A family. This drug is available as a fixed dose combination with ombistavir, paritaprovir as well as ritonavir. However, this drug is contraindicated in patients with severe or hepatic impairment as well as cannot be taken together with the drug that has strong inducer or strong inhibitor of cytochrome 2C8. The NS5A proteins, as mentioned before, play an important role in copies multiple viral positive sense RNA replications. This NS5A also play an important role in assembly in, uh, of HCV. The exact mechanism is still unknown. Thus, NS5A inhibitors such as Daclatasvir, Ledipasvir, Velpatasvir, and Ombitasvir will inhibit this replication as well as assembly of viral RNA and proteins. This group of class are available as combination therapy with NS5B RNA polymerase inhibitors as mentioned before. These three agents, Dacratasvir, Ledipasvir, and Velpatasvir, exist as combination of with sulfosbuvir. Meanwhile, Ombitasvir will combine with Nasabuvir. Both of these three drugs are not affected by food intake. No dose adjustments are required in hepatic or renal insufficiency, and these three drugs have high protein binding which cause half-life more than 12 hours. Combination of Dacratasvir with Sombosbovir is effective against HCV genotype 1, 2, 3, and 4. Meanwhile, Ledipasvir only effective to eradicate HCV genotype 1. This drug has low potency against genotype 2 due to highly prevalent L31M polymorphism and other genotype due to the availability of more efficacious therapy. Combination of sulfosbuvir with this velpatasvir uh, has the most highly genotyping of HCV to be eradicated from genotype 1 until genotype 6. The interesting part of this agent, all of them are P glycoprotein inhibitors, as mentioned before. So, first move is the P glycoprotein substrate. This combination has mutual benefits by increasing their bioavailability of both agents in the plasma. 
However, these three drugs should not be taken together with big glycoprotein inducers such as rifampin, uh, herbs such as St. John Wars. These two agents cause decreased the bioavailability of these anti-hepatitis agents and lead to treatment failure. Another drug in NS5A inhibitors group of anti-HCV agent is Ombitasvir. So, this Ombitasvir available as a fixed dose combination with Paritabir, which is one of the NS3-4A protease inhibitors, as well as Ritonavir. Ritonavir is an uh, anti-HIV drug. As in HIV infection, which we'll discuss after this, Ritonavir has no therapeutic effects against these HCV infections. The benefits of administering ritonavir in this combination is due to ritonavir sense as a pharmacologic booster to increase the plasma concentration of paritaprovir via its effect on cytochrome 3A4. Alright, these three combinations used to treat HCV genotype 4. The absolute bioavailability of obitazvir is about 48% and paritaprovir is about 53%. This drug should be taken with meal to increase their bioavailability and they can reach the peak plasma concentration after 5 hours of ingestion. This drug is highly bound to plasma protein and excreted via biliary excretion as feces. However, this combination is contraindicated in patients with moderate or severe hepatic impairment. It is also contraindicated if taken together any of other drugs that has strong inducer of cytochrome 3A4 family or strong inducer of uh, an inhibitor of cytochrome 2,6A, which may cause drug drug interactions, lead to decreasing the drug bioavailability and hence therapeutic failure. This is due to paritaprovet is metabolized by cytochrome 3A family. Obitazvir is not metabolized by cytochrome 3A system, but this, but this drug is uh, an inhibitor of UGT1A1. The addition of dasabuvir in this uh, formulation, dasabuvir as mentioned before, is the NS5B RNA polymerase inhibitor can be used to treat HCV genotype 1. NS3-4A protease inhibitors are inhibitors of this NS3-4A serine protease enzyme. So, these agents will block the cleave of four non-structural protein sites. Simaprovir uh, is one of the NS3-4A protease inhibitors must be taken with food to maximize the absorption. The bioavailability is about 62% and peak plasma can be reached after 4 to 6 hours post ingestion This drug is bound to plasma proteins more than 99% and metabolized by cytochrome 3A pathways and undergoes biliary secretions. Please take note that this drug is not recommended for moderate, moderate to severe hepatic impairment. Clinically, simoprovir is used in combination with sofosbuvir with or without rivabiri for the treatment of HCV genotype 1. This drug also can be used in combination with rivabirin and pegylated interferon alpha in the uh, HCV genotype 1 also. Rivabirin is a guanosine analog that is phosphorylated intracellularly by whole cell enzyme. The exact mechanism of action has not been fully elicited, but it appears to interfere with the synthesis of guanosine triphosphate, inhibit the capping of viral messenger RNA, and inhibit the viral RNA dependent polymerase of certain viruses, not only HCV but also in the influenza A, influenza B, as well as HIV-1. The absolute oral bioavailability of this drug is about 45 to 64% 
and it can be increased with high fat meals and decreased with core administrations with any antacids. Plasma protein binding is neg negligible, but this drug has large volume of distribution and high uh, CFF penetrations. Unlike other antiviral drugs, this drug is being eliminated via urine. Here is the summary of the uh, drugs that can be used to treat HCV infections. We have NS3 for a protease inhibitors that block this uh, protease enzyme. By blocking this enzyme, will block the protein synthesis of this particular proteins. And then we have NS5B polymerase inhibitors that will inhibit the uh, replications such as dasabuvir and sofosbuvir. Beside that, we also have the NS5A inhibitors.